Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Today I am going to review the fabled, the fabled Springbank 12 Burgundy. The fabled because Actually, I don't know if it's fabled, I just think it's fabled. Um, the Springbank 12 Burgundy, let me explain to you, ruined my whiskey life, actually. When I first started drinking whiskey, um, and then someone introduced me to Springbank, one of the first um, whiskies that I had was a Springbank Burgundy, and it was a bit of a turning point. I thought, wow, that is excellent. And from that moment on, I got super obsessed with Springbank um, and what they did. Um, and then I tried the uh, 17 Sherry cask, and my life was ruined after that. But Look, this is, um, when was this released? This was released in 2016, so quite a few years ago, four years ago, 53.5%. Um, you know, I find it to be absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. And um, let's go through it today. Um, I know it's a four-year-old bottle, but there are actually some stores out there in America, um, in the US, Europe, where they will still have this. Okay, because a lot of people don't know what Springbank is. Um, and they will have this, so just give it a Google, Wine Searcher has a few around America. Um, get them to ship it to you as olive oil or essential oils and you'll be fine. So let's get nosing. Mm. From, from the get-go, I'm getting that quintessential filthy, dirty Springbank note. I don't know where that comes from. Some people say it's from the Dunnage warehousing. Some people say it's their distilling technique. Some people say it's how they treat their barrels. And some people say it's just a combination of all of that. Whatever it is, I like it. It's filthy. It stinks. It's fungal. It's foosty. Oh, absolutely delicious. But going past that, Going past that, I am getting condensed raspberries. Condensed raspberries. Not too much sugar. I'm getting burnt sugar. Caramel. But really, the condensed raspberries is really what sticks out to me. I'm getting a distinct earthiness in there. Once again, the fusti, the fungal, damp firewood. When you're drying firewood, you've got a whole shed full of them. Oh, I'm just getting that. It is also extremely leathery. A new leather goods, real leather. You know, you can really smell that tanning process of that leather. I'm getting a hint of peat, a hint of smoke. Oh, absolutely delicious. Freaking phenomenal. And obviously, I'm speaking from memory too. And um, I want to thank um, Sunny. One man's, it's okay, is another man's, wow. So he did it quite, it wasn't his cup of tea, he didn't think it was that phenomenal, so he was like, hey, have it. So he actually gave me half, I kept some back, but he actually gave me half a bottle of it, so thank you for letting me relive one of my um, turning point um, landmark whiskey, shall I say. And with water, let's give it a go. Now, 53 is not overly high, but just for all intents and purposes of experimentation, I want to just see. Okay. With water, it takes away the foostiness, it takes away that earthiness, that damp smell. Actually, it takes away the, the leather as well on the damp wood. It just gives you that sickly sweetness. So that's a bit of a shame. It smells like a very tart raspberry yogurt. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way. The water killed the nose. So let's give it a go. And like I said, just give it a Google. Springbank 12 Burgundy and you'll still find that. In fact, when I visited America, there was heaps of them around, but they wouldn't ship state to state until someone told me, you know, just give them a call and ask them, can you please ship it under olive oil essential oil? Apparently it's a trick. Mmm, wow. I love it. I love it. Well, granted, this has been open a while, but the core of the flavors, I remember it. Condensed strawberries. Earthy, fungal, foosty, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of lingering peat, it's oily, it coats the mouth, it permeates, a little bit of vanilla, and there is a bitter sweetness to it. I'm still trying to figure that out. Bitter sweetness. 
It's leathery on the, no uh, on the, on the palate. I'm getting a little bit of a um, barnyard smell, like I'm um, being in a barn with hay and horses and stuff. I'm getting a little bit of that, like an animalistic smell. You know, like when you're driving through the country, you get that smell. I'm getting a little bit of that. I get salinity, delicious, absolutely delicious. I mean, yeah, I would pit myself out for another full bottle, to be frank. Mmm. It's got a... It's got a slight sulfuricness to it. Some people don't like that, but I quite like it, and you can grow accustomed to it, and you start to hunger for it. That could be from the burgundy barrel, I don't know. Sooty, a little sooty. Not smoke, but sooty, specifically a soot. Like, you know when you've got a, a gas burner that isn't burning as efficiently, have a yellow flame, and then it's, you know, the soot sticks to your pan, that kind of sooty. Mmm. The sweetness is perfect. It's not overly sweet. It's just right. And I've got a sweet tooth, so me saying that is a big thing. Um, it's just just sweet, just just nicely sweet. Let's try the one with water. Hmm, actually. The nose kills it with water, but with water, the sweetness subsides a bit, and I get a little bit more of that tartness from the raspberry and raspberry yogurt. It becomes a little bit creamier with water. Yeah, with water, definitely a little bit creamier. Funny enough, is with water, it actually increases the alcohol burn. How strange is that? It happens sometimes. With water, it increases the alcohol burn, but the fusti, the earthiness, the leather, does subside with water. Okay, so that's the difference with water in my opinion. My preferred choice is without water. Um, because I'm more of the sweets, uh, sweet tooth and I love the foostiness of that. It reminds me of century egg. It reminds me of Taiwanese stinky tofu. It reminds me of blue cheese. Um, it reminds me of my socks after I go for a run. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, it kind of does. But, you know, it's, that's not, I don't, I don't necessarily like that. But, you know, it reminds me of that. So it's some, some comfort to it. There's some comfort to it. Um, and... It's a reliable flavor that you get from Springbank, and I hope that that flavor will stay around um, in the future future bottlings. But thank you for joining me today. Until next time, make sure you eat, smoke, drink. And if you can find another Burgundy, um, you have two choices. You have to get it for yourself or contact me and ship it to me because I would love a full bottle. Um, thank you, and until next time. Cheers.